Welcome back, guys, to season two of Little House of the Dragon. You got Lady Kirby and Lord Corey. Yes. It's How are y'all like, doing? It's like you read it, but you didn't read it. Oh. You went you went into like narration mode. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I'm a professional, which I love. Hey, yeah. can I just say something off top? This is the re- this is the instant reaction. I don't know if every episode will be like this, mm-hmm. but we just watched it for the first time. Uh, quote the first time listen we were going to put this out last night but my wife uh lady amber if she could be called a lady mm-hmm. uh wench amber wench yeah exactly <laughs> mud uh silk maiden yeah she's the silk maiden amber yeah, yeah she fell she's, she is the drunk worm yeah she's the drunk worm <laughs> oh, look, i'm glad you said that because i want to ask you about this worm lady anyways we would have put this out last night mm-hmm. uh but now we're here it's the first Amber hurt her ankle. Yeah, Amber that, hurt her yeah, ankle. Yeah, she hurt her ankle. And, 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 I, and she wasn't drunk. Yeah, right. No, it, it's actually very surprising. Yeah. Like, everybody assumed. They're like, well, what was she doing? You know, riding a four-wheeler yeah, with no, her feet. And it's like, Watering no, her water. ferns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, this is our first reaction to season two of House of the Dragon. And I just want to start off by saying, I've, been to, I've mentioned this to Trey lately, but I want to mention it to you. Because I don't know if you had the same experience, because you've been a mother for seven years now, Mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm obviously still relatively new to fatherdom. Mm -hmm. Do all shows always have kids dying, and I just never noticed it before? No, I mean, not all shows, but, I mean... It just seems like ever since I had Bane, like, everything I watch, read, listen to, or whatever, like, some kid dies... And I have to like go, okay, I have to go, then I have to go look at reviews. I'm mm-hmm. like, is this gonna be good enough for the pain that I'm about to go yeah, through? Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm well, like, if it's only got a 3.5, I'm like, I'm well, not dealing with that. And according to the like avid readers of the book, we, we got lucky. Right. Yeah, because that's another thing is that since we're just doing the instant reaction, we don't have like a timetable or whatever. Yeah. The, the, obviously, what I'm talking about is the ending. And that is what has colloquially, colloquially, you know what word I'm trying to say? Not a clue. Colloquially, colloquially, like a colloquialism. I can't say it, but that, like, uh, you don't know what a colloquialism is? Mm-mm. Like, like, uh, why can't I think of an example right off the top of my head? Like, uh. tissues are colloquially known as Kleenexes, like it's just the thing that... Collectively known? No, 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 not collectively known. It's a colloquialism. Like that's that's a thing. Okay. Like this is colloquially. Again, I can't say the fucking word, but I know what it means. Known as uh, the, the blood and cheese incident. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. do you get what I'm saying? It's a colloquialism. It's. Yeah. We yeah. Can, we can move on. Well, yeah. It, it's fine. Anyways, this has been like all over Reddit, all over, you know, I know, are you on Reddit? I can't figure it out. Okay. Well, if you join our Putting On Airs. I am a member. Okay. Yeah. Well, the team over there will help you figure everything out. Aunt Tiff, Radical Riley, help her out. Uh, comment on something, say that it's you. Okay. They'll, they'll walk okay. you through everything. Okay, cool, cool. Because this episode obviously will be on there as well. But anyways, we've been hearing... Blood and cheese is coming. Yes. Right? Yes. Now, I listened to the book, but it was when I was flying a lot. I don't know how much I retained, yada, mm-hmm. yada. Kind of remember this phrasing. And we finally got that in the first episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I was, what would you think? Would you, would you, were you expecting it to be that full throttle on? I was expect. well, yes and no. I guess, like, you know, kind of the spoilers that I'd seen. See, you. Well, Corey, you got to think. I mean, like, it, this is based on a book. Yeah, I know. Like, but things just pop up. I know, but where are you at that they pop up? <sighs> the store. <laughs> <laughs> You're just down yeah. just down at Ed's Grocery yeah. and someone's just like, yeah. blood and cheese yeah. is coming. Well, I, I you guess... You get deep into the... You're on... Fa- what's that app? Fandom. Fandom. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But, like, you... And I listen, it's very easy because... I knew that it wasn't going to be as bad as the book because they literally can't show that. Right. I know it's HBO, but they... Oh, wait, they, what? Explain to me, because see, I told you I didn't retain a lot of the book. Explain to me what really happens. Well, okay, what really happens... We're talking in, about the end where the son gets murdered. Yeah. Well, 
what really happens is, which don't quote me on this, I just feel like I remember this being said. So in the in the show, he's he's going after Eamon. But in the book, I'm pretty sure he's going for Aegon's son. Really? That's yes. And in the book, there's three kids instead of two kids right. of Aegon and Helena's. And she, they make her choose which one. Right. And, oh, there's two boys. Yes. Yeah. And she, the and she picks one and they killed the other. Oh, and, so the other and, one has to live. And yes, and beheaded him in front of her. Uh, like, I, you know, we hear the sound effects in the show, but like, obviously, like uh, in the book, she literally sees, it was like a clean cut, like whack. Well, I don't think they did it to uh, like save us from having to see something so horrible. It was probably just a budget thing. Like, eh, we'll just not yeah, do I don't that. Yeah, I don't know if they would... Show a kid getting married. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. You're right. They do a lot of stuff, but I don't know. Because like, like in Game of Thrones, whenever Robert's bastards were being killed, yeah, they remember bar- like that. You could tell what was happening, right. but like they didn't show the actual baby getting stabbed. Well, that makes a lot of sense in the book, I guess, because when we were watching it, and it was like it's clear who they. And by the way, I, I'm as bad with names now mm-hmm. as I was last season. Uh-huh. Honestly, probably worse. Yeah, because like. I'll be honest with you. I didn't do a rewatch like you did. I really wanted to. And there was a lot of things that I was like, wait, hold on. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, one of which was, wait, what was I just talking about? Blood and cheese. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was thinking like how stupid, which by the way, you're the one that pointed out like, oh, the reason this guy's name is Cheese is because he's a rat catcher. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. And the only reason, by the way, that I knew that this was the blood and cheese incident is because I have, me and Amber watch everything with closed captioning on. Yeah, oh yeah. I think more people do that now than they used to. I started with Game of Thrones because yeah. I couldn't understand what they were saying at first. Yeah, I, re- I definitely recommend it on shows where people have different accents or mm-hmm. whatever, but like when you have a kid, you have to do that. Yeah, oh because, yeah. Because like... The volume has to be a little bit lower at uh-huh. night or during the day when he's running around making noise. You've got to be able to see the words because he's going to scream. Yes. During like, But anyways, because of closed captioning, that's the only reason I knew that that was the blood and cheese that's in it. Because yeah. when that guy says something, it it's says cheese, mm-hmm. you know, colon mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so watching the HBO behind the scenes afterwards or whatever, mm-hmm. the director or the writer or whatever was talking about how like, they didn't have names for those characters, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. at all. They were just, mm-hmm. you know, blood and cheese. Mm-hmm. And so, like, but I found it, since that was such a big ordeal, mm-hmm. I find it odd that not one of the characters, like, he didn't call him Cheese or like, oh, yeah, they call me Cheese mm-hmm. or something. Mm-hmm. But I guess it was just one of those where it was, like, rewarding people who, you know, read the book. Yes. Like, you, if you know, you know. Yeah. Or it yeah. doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So oh, overall, overall thoughts on, I mean, we, we used to rate, we can go ahead and rate it before we keep talking about it. Cause I think five dragons was the most you could be. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it four. Okay. A hard, uh, a hard four. Yeah. Or, Not or 4.5. Th- 3.5 or four. Not four or 4.5. I would say four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Explain, explain why. It, can I make a guess as to why you're not higher? Sure. Rhaenyra only had one line of dialogue in the whole show. I, well, to me, that just showed how her character was so... Devastated. I, yes, like yeah. that she only had to have one line. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess I'm calling it four because... I feel like a five is for like if there's some battle. That's true. So it's we like, can say it's a four point five. Well, no, we'll go with. I like your initial reaction okay. four because okay. we've got to have something to build to. Because like if uh-huh. the next episode's a banger, yeah. Like I think it was a banger for an opening. Oh yeah. Episode. I, yeah, I liked how it picked up right where it left off. Yeah, I liked that. And um, I'll be honest, like I almost forgot for a second that we were watching a Game of Thrones spinoff because mm-hmm. it's just like so Game of Thronesy. Well, speaking of that. Um, um, what do you think about them changing the intro? So I was going to ask you about that. Like the intro, th- did they change the whole thing? Or did they, the, the music has always been just Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, used because to, I the initially... intro was more like visually like Game of Thrones. Remember it had the blood going different yeah. ways. Well, now it's like a tapestry and it's a story. 
it's like the story of like Aegon's conquest. Okay. All See, that I didn't even on, notice that it was the different. Ta- on the tapestry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I honestly, I'm an idiot. You might have hit skip intro. You know what? I accidentally did. Yeah. And then I tried to get back to it. Yeah. And I'm, I, listen, Max, which I hate to call you Max because forever it's HBO to me, mm-hmm. but the feature where sometimes the show will start and they do a recap, but I'll realize, oh, I need to pee real quick. And I want to pause because I want to watch the recap mm-hmm. when I get back. Mm-hmm. But if you hit the button, it skips the recap. Yeah. And then also, the same thing, skips the intro. Mm-hmm. And I don't like that because I... I don't, matter of fact, don't give us the ability to skip these things. If we want to fast forward, we will do that. Yeah. But yes, now that I think about it, mm-hmm. the reason I didn't notice that mm-hmm. is because I accidentally... I was mm-hmm. trying to pause. Yes. Well, I'm for it. I uh-huh. like that. Uh huh. Yeah, I um I looked it up on the um one of the HBO Facebook something, and it had like a little store, like each one what it meant on there, and it was cool. Yeah, that is cool. So we already talked about the ending, uh, but everything leading up to it, I agree with you. I like that they started like. You know, I, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if there was going to be some time pass. I haven't been on fandom quite like yeah, you. Yeah, uh, Which well, I'm not making fun. No, well, I, fandom fandom doesn't necessarily... It doesn't give you, like, show spoilers. It just has, like, a biography of every character, how they're related to someone else, yeah. what house and they, they died, came from. how they died. And, yes, stuff yeah. like that. I mean, it's literally, like, it's it's Wikipedia. yeah. But for, completely fan generated and yes. like yeah, and I, I'm all for that stuff and and I found out the hard way about yeah I make fun of you for getting spoilers but like I get it because mm-hmm. like I'm currently well, watching don't say a name and you're like okay who, who, who I want to look yeah who's mm-hmm. this yeah mm-hmm. right so like I'm not even gonna say the name of the show because I don't want somebody to accidentally make this mistake mm-hmm. but I'm I'm currently watching this show that is it's, it's had four seasons but I'm on season two mm-hmm. and I wanted to see what the actor I was like I know him from somewhere yeah. boom. Blank in, they go, and it was just like blank's death. And yeah. I was like, God, yeah, damn it. you uh-huh. know, I and it's ha- like, yeah, you know, whatever mm-hmm. algorithms work, however algorithms work. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, you know, uh, that there is war being set. And I think the show didn't it open up in Winterfell, yes, it did, which was very sentimental. I love that, and I can, and that's it, why I felt the, like I'm just well, watching first game of when I heard the narration, I was like, is that like. Jon Snow talking, yeah, because uh, that, but that's that accent of the North. Yeah, right. They have that similar. Well, and he's a Stark, so yeah, right. That's that's one of the. I like how they tied that together. Just like how I'd said that um, the Lannister guy, yeah, sounds like Tyrion. Tyrion, yeah, he does. Like they have, and they're both Lannisters, and they have that similar accent. Yeah. Um, so I like how, and maybe that's just me reading too much into it, but I feel like it has to be on purpose. No, I mean, I would say that it has to be on purpose. Yeah, because I it's think like, that's cool. George R. R. Martin is so, like, he writes his own languages for these mm-hmm. people. So I assume that he's like, look, if we're casting someone to play mm-hmm. a Lannister, they have to have the accent of this part of England. Uh-huh. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. Because, like, the Lannisters would all speak mm-hmm. the same. Like, mm-hmm. it would be weird if they didn't. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it would be like... If if we just had a show set in the fictitious mm-hmm. South mm-hmm. and somebody sounded like they were from yes. Jersey, but it was my brother. Yes. Like, you can't just mm-hmm. have any type of English accent. Like, mm-hmm. that's not going to work. Mm-hmm. But I agree. And speaking of which, well, we'll get to it in a minute. I do want to talk about the Lannister guy because there's a really funny scene uh, with him and the poor dead kid. I know. Now, Je- Jaharis. Jaharis. There you mm-hmm. go. Um, but, yeah, it, uh, it opening in Winterfell was really cool. And also... Um, basically showing you like, hey, obviously this is a fictional world, but we still think of it as back then. It's yeah. based on the medieval time. Yeah. And how like information um, was not, you didn't get a text no, uh-uh. when your brother died mm-hmm. no, or whatever. No, it's like, got a raven. Things, yeah, had to be mm-hmm. learned through a raven. So the dude that goes to meet the Stark guy, again, and this is where I'm glad to have you, and I want to play the point of view of somebody mm-hmm. who is watching this and didn't do a recap Who's that? Who's that again? Was that? Is that the brother? Yes. That, that's the brother who made it. Yes. He just looked There's, different to me for some reason. Yeah. Well, it's because at the very end of the first season, you know, they jumped to their being a little older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, yeah, there's um, Lucerus and just Sarah. And Lucerus didn't make it. Yes. Yeah. Correct. And Lucerus is the one that slashed Eamon's eye. Right. Mm-hmm. And he also, they are. 
twin brothers. No, they're not twins. Okay, but they both came from that dude that she yeah, used strong. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a, all, all, yeah, she had three kids with a strong guy, and then one stillborn with Damon. Yeah, and while we're uh, while we're again doing a little season one catch up. Hey, hey Dolores. Hey. Season one catch up. Season two reminders or whatever. What happened to that dude that she had the kids with? Um, his brother burnt down Heron Hall. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, but did he die? Uh, the brother and the dad. Yeah. Yeah, strong foot. So, yeah, strong foot. <laughs> strong foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Laris. I just couldn't remember. But she, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was, uh, she was married to dude, right? No, 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 no. She was married to Lainor. That's right. Mm-hmm. She just had the, the, well, what they call them, bastard kids. Yes, yes. He, he was gay and they were married and it was a marriage of convenience. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. Well, I apologize to everybody who remembered all that. Uh, but it's just, I mean, George R. R. Martin, dude, like he packs in so much stuff. Yeah, that he I does. Can, and as we mentioned last season, don't even try to make people's names dissimilar so that you I, don't get confused yeah, like no. there's Rhaegar, Ray Lund, Raylan Gibbons, Laceris, yeah, Lacero, like all like like whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh but anyways, so we start out in Winterfell and Joceris gets the information that mm-hmm. Lucerus has died. Mm-hmm. It obviously breaks him a little bit, but bound by duty, mm-hmm. he carries out and, like, that was a really strong moment between him and his mom. Oh, when, yes, when, when he's he, trying to report to her. Yeah, and he's mm-hmm. like, he comes in, he's like, you're Grace. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I was just thinking, I was like, how much would our mom love it if we called her your Grace? Yeah, Like, she every would. time we entered the She room. would, she would love that. But anyways, he has to tell her, and they break down crying. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I sort of feel like th- we're about to see the Danny moment. Like the oh Daenerys moment. I was just thinking of Danny R, your father in law. No, 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 no. I think we're about to see Rhaenyra turn into Daenerys. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying Mm -hmm. because, like, you know, as I said last season, and I think you agreed with me. Like, we're Team Black all the way Mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Allison, well, no, I didn't say this last season. Between seasons, I've become a father. Okay, and so I sort of flipped a little bit where I'm like, I'm Team Black. But I don't harbor as much hatred for Allison as I used to because mm-hmm. I'm like, well, of course she wants her what's best for her son or whatever. I think that she sees it as a means of survival more for than sure. anything. Because, I mean, her dad told her that. He like, straight up told her, like, if you don't do this, mm-hmm. they're going to see him as a claim to the throne and they're going to kill all of you. Mm-hmm. Right. And so she's basically been told, do this thing by a guy who's been the hand to three kings. Mm-hmm. So regardless of how you feel about him or not, mm-hmm. clearly knows what he's talking yes, about. Yes. And she's like this is how my family survives and like I mean again, I just became a dad and there's a lot of things that I used to not think I would do that I've recently thought about it and I was like, "No, nah, I do that shit." Yeah. <laughs> like I yeah. do that I do that in a mm-hmm. heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Um she also got a lot of loving. She did. This episode, she did. She was being uh, all crispy Cole. Yeah, is that is that y'all's name for him, crispy yeah, Cole? That's that's the internet. So I can't I can't claim it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I like that. But yeah, mm-hmm. they were getting uh, extra down and dirty, which is hilarious because you know he said he wasn't going to be Rhaenyra's whore. That's right. And what is he? I mean, he's Allison's whore. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, I don't know. Sometimes, dude, like there've been, you know. Uh, there have been women who in the past I said I wouldn't do such and such for, and then with Amber, I'm just like, but she's the one. You know I, what I mean? I saw this thing that said, um, Kristen uh, calls a faithful servant. You got um, him doing whatever it takes, and Allison's in the bath, not a not a bar of soap inside. It's an old rag, I, uh, and that's it. Yeah, I hate uh, this. Might sound misogynistic or whatever, but like again, I know it's a fictional universe, but back then hygiene was not good. Yeah. So whenever I see that particular act being uh-huh. performed. I'm always just like a little taken back. Yeah, I'm yeah. like the extra steps I would like have to be like, hey, I know you're the queen yeah. region and all, but if you yeah. could go in the bathroom and and uh, squat on a bidet for a while, <laughs> that'd be nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. But she, but while they're, you know, he's and that, by the way, to me, I like them opening with him servicing her mm-hmm. because it just shows her total dominance. Oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. do this for me. 
Mm-hmm. Like he he wasn't getting nothing. Yeah, there was yeah. no number action. It was yeah. just that. Agreed, agreed. And then of course, as soon as she busts her nut, she's like, "We can't do this anymore." I know. Well, and obviously, like, okay, at the end when the little boy was being killed, like, you know, he was in there sleeping with Allison, and it's like, why was no one guarding the Helena's? door and the i mean why was there no guard outside see i'm glad you brought that up because a i want to know like with with allison i understand because it's like maybe he is the guard for her door yeah and so he was in there banging her so there wasn't one yeah but But helena's the queen that's what i'm saying yeah like that was kind of a little plot holy to me Mm -hmm. because like not only is she the queen Mm -hmm. but that's the heir to the throne Mm -hmm. in there like you, that would be Jamie uh, Lannister's position would to be right there. So mm-hmm. like, either some bylaws in mm-hmm. uh, the uh, uh, Westeros changed between this show and the new one, but like that felt a little. How do you explain why there was nobody there? Yeah, and like I don't know if like the extra guards were like, you know, was it the blockade or whatever? Yeah, if maybe, but still, I'm like y'all, y'all couldn't have like you know. I can forgive a couple guards being gone, but mm-hmm. like again, that to me, the way it's always been and everything is like the air must always be protected. Yes, because if the air is vulnerable, then like every, shit can hit the fan yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that was part that it's like you know I know people always go, oh, you didn't buy it. This is a world where there are dragons, mm-hmm. but it's like in the world. That one kind of didn't make sense to mm-hmm, me. Mm-hmm. In the books, is that how it went down? I'm or did sure. they? Because, see, I would. I know. I think they killed the guards. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Like, I mm-hmm. feel like that it would have made this episode a 4.5 mm-hmm. if those dudes had mm-hmm. killed some guards. Mm-hmm. It might have been. Well, and I would. I was. You would think, like, oh, maybe that would be unlikely that these dudes could, could kill some guards. But, like, the blood guy, mm-hmm. like, he's clearly. Yeah. A army trained guy because yeah. he's the one that lets Damon into the city. Well, but and also like it's diff- that's different than regular combat. Like you get them with the element of surprise. Oh like, yeah, you could you know. Can we just talk about uh oh Kermit? Yes. Oh, I didn't know you had the. <laughs> it did feel like. To those listening to us and not watching, I just put my hood on. Her Damon hood my on. My Damon hood on. Dude, I swear I to you. I love when he just literally goes full-blown Kermit whenever it's time. Yeah, and if you don't know the Kermit meme, uh, there's an evil Kermit meme, and it looks just like Damon. And, like, they, he did it so much in this episode mm-hmm. that I feel like the people in the show were like... Y'all, let's get yeah. memed. Yeah. Like, like yeah. they did it yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Like, they yeah. saw all the we've memes. Got, we've got to satisfy the memers. Yeah. Like, yeah. We, like we, we we saw what they did when we did this once last year. Mm-hmm. Let's have it every time you see him, he be evil Kermit. Yes, yes, for sure. Um, Here's what I wanted. And I, it kind of got answered on my second watch when we were doing the second watch. Mm-hmm. But um, White Worm? Yes. Okay. When me and Amber were watching it, we were like, well, the first thing I said was, oh, my God, that's the girl from Devs because we just watched Devs, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I guess I didn't realize that last season. But because of that, I was like, I kind of don't remember her at all. She... But then I realized she was the madam of the brothel mm-hmm. that he was going to. Mm-hmm. And therefore, she knew his comings and goings mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yes. And she just made it a point to she's kind of almost like um, Littlefinger in yeah. that aspect. Like, right. you know, he had the whorehouse. And, right. All that, and I think she just she made it her thing. Like this is how I'm going to protect myself is knowing things on people. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, because I when when Damon locks her up or whatever, like I, maybe I was wrong, but like I had interpreted her last season as as like she was trying to help them get him. Yeah. Uh, well, remember um, uh, Otto approached yeah, her, yeah. With, and I'll have to go back and she had something doing with Otto. Uh huh. Um, he was trying to keep make sure that like she kept it under wraps that they were in there. I feel yeah, like or something some, like that. Something his like was that. like his was like a PR move. Like, uh-huh. hey, you know, mm-hmm. we know that the little prince is going to do what the little mm-hmm. prince does. But mm-hmm. if you could, you know, maybe yeah. Yeah. murder anybody that sees him, you yeah. know, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but I had just kind of forgotten. But it's been two years mm-hmm. almost. Um, but I had kind of forgotten about that. And speaking of, you mentioned her being like a, a, a little finger, which I think is a great comp for mm-hmm. her. But I also think that little finger is a great comp for, um, strong foot, strong foot. Yeah. Yeah. Strong foot, strong foot. And, and dude, 
you said it last year. You said it last year, and I still agree with you. It's like that's it's it's fine to want to jerk off defeat. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Like it should, takes all kinds, of kinds. Takes all lid for every pot. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And I and like there's way weirder fetishes, mm-hmm. but for some reason, when that's your thing, every time I see him, I'm just like, here comes football. I'm just telling you, people don't realize how easy they have it nowadays. Where you can just literally like, you could, not only could you just look something up, but like you know, you could just literally take a picture of someone's foot one day, and like that's your picture. Yeah. Back then, they'd have to be like. Here's six pence for an old painting of some feet <laughs> for you to keep in your satchel, you know? Yeah. Like, I, mean, I mean, like, he had to do what he had to do. I was about to say, dude, like, yeah, this guy actually had to, like, sell war secrets yeah. just, to get a, just to get a boner. Like, yeah, that's, I mean, like, man. Yeah, like, yeah. going all the way. But There was no foot hub back then. At, no, there wasn't. <laughs> no. The, the foot keep. We, yeah. Uh, but he, he really, like, you can tell. I don't know if he's vying, like, to be the hand? Yeah, well, that's you know, what it I sounds mean, like it, when it, he said that to Egon about your, you know, your uh, grandfather was the hand to your dad right. and your grandfather, like, in other words, like... Let's start a new chapter. Yeah, and also, did you get the vibe not speaking good about Egon? I feel like he just, like, wanted to be a nice king. Yeah. Because he was just like, oh, well, let's give him his sheep back. No, I was going to I was gonna say that because, mm-hmm. like, um, he there was a little Tommen in him, you know, there for yeah. a second. And it was clearly used to show that he, he, okay, his father did not prepare him to be the king. No. He does not know what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And so in his mind, it's just like the king says something and it's mm-hmm. done. And so, I mean, honestly, I think Otto kind of proved that, like, he does need to be there. Yeah, because, he like, does. Yeah. Because, like... We- you, you know, can't just give everyone everything. Because, like, dude, it does suck that that guy lost his sheep, but, mm-hmm. like, they're going to war, and that's what taxes are. Like, mm-hmm. that was just... Now, it's it's weird to have physical goods taxed, like your actual sheep. Well, tithed. I mean, it's just like back in, you know, World War II when we had rations and stuff. Yeah. Like, it didn't matter how rich you were. Like, right. You're, you can only have this much. It definitely mattered how rich you were. I, well, I know, but I just meant, like, technically yeah. you were supposed on to paper, go by that law. Yeah, on technically. paper, yeah, you yeah. were supposed to go by mm-hmm. that law. But yeah, he was just like, oh, we'll just, yeah, I'll give you your sheet back. Yeah. That sounds like, so yeah, yeah, I mean, you can tell that he has it in him to want to be a benevolent king mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But I have a feeling that when it comes to being the wartime king that mm-hmm. we're about to see him, mm-hmm. probably going to be a little mm-hmm. bit different as, well, I mean, especially now. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, dude. Oh, I know. Well, even that scene with him and Helena when he goes to look for his son, and he, like, obviously, like, she's, you know, acts peculiar, and, you know, he just sees her as as weird, and he's yeah. just like, she's something, isn't she? Yeah, right. <laughs> that, uh, that queen. Yeah. She's, I was, she's something. I was listening hey. to the after episode or whatever, and I think the director and writer were both talking about how, I can't remember that the actor's name who plays Amon or whatever. Yeah. But they were talking. Ben ta- Stiller in... Yeah. Um, have you seen the meme of, oh, God. Hold on. Continue. Um. Anyways, they said that, like, all the humor that Eamon has comes directly from that actor. Like, they actually didn't write any. Like Egon's humor? Egon's, yeah. yeah I yeah. saw that. Yeah, where mm-hmm. they were like, we didn't write it to be funny. That It's just that those were the takes he, were, he was given, and yeah. we were like, oh, yeah, we'll definitely use that. Yeah. But also in that, like, you can tell that he really does love his kid. You know what I mean? Which is, oh, that is hilarious. Hold that up to the camera. <laughs> uh, you got to hold it up to the oh. lens. That is <sighs> that is super funny. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, he does, dude. He looks talk. insane. Like he, that guy, whoever the actor is that mm-hmm. plays him. Yes, like, he does. A good... He was born to play this role. Yes. I mean, I think a lot of them were like Matt. I mean, mm-hmm. now I know Matt Smith from like. Mm-hmm. Dude, this is my third favorite thing that Matt Smith's mm-hmm. ever done, really. So, like, mm-hmm. I don't necessarily just associate him as being yeah. Damon, mm-hmm. but he does feel born to play this mm-hmm. role. Um, but anyways, like, and obviously now that I think retroactively back in the episode, it was setting it up to make the blood and cheese a harder gut punch because mm-hmm. these, if me and you were Team Black, those are our enemies, but I still am like, oh, no, not that. Like, don't do that. Mm-hmm. Because as much of a little shit as he is, like, I do think he loved his kid. And he was like, hey, it's take take my buddy to work day. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. and I just, you know, I don't know. Like, I just, I just, they don't have to be like this. And 
I bet you that Rhaenyra, it Rhaenyra, the mm-hmm. queen. Uh, I don't think this is going to hit for her. Well, no, I mean happened. that's. I mean, you know, because that that's not the son that they wanted to no, be killed. No, like that's no. The, I, what's so funny is it's like she wanted one brother dead, dead and, and then the like, other brother died. Because I mean, like that's her. That's. No, 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 I'm sorry. That's her, her nephew. Nephew. Yeah. nephew. It's yes. her nephew. Yeah, like, it's all confusing. But, like, the thing is, is, like, that's the thing with the blood and cheese, dude. They were just like, oh, they just set a son. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, no, no, no. They set a specific. Yeah. Like, like you're not just going to get all your money for that, surely. Right. Or any. Yeah. Like, you didn't do the thing. Yeah. Like, like you've just caused, what, like, because, dude, if they had killed. Amond. Amond. I mean, there still would have been retribution, but I believe that everyone on Team Green would have been like, I mean... What about the kick in the dog for no reason? I'm like, why did you invite the little buddy up the steps? I know, that like, was kind of Like, he was like, rude. make sure the dog comes, and then all of a sudden, he's just like, get out of here, dog, and kicks the dog. Well, that was that is a screenwriter's trick. It's the opposite of what they call Save the Cat, mm-hmm. which is, uh, Save the Cat is the title of a book that is about screenwriting, and basically it's like, if you want to set up a character that everyone... You can't just assume that people are going to love your character because it's the main character. Mm -hmm. So if you've got this badass guy who's going to do some killing and stuff later, Mm -hmm. you've got to have him, quote-unquote, save the cat at the beginning of the movie. In Jack, in the show Reacher, he literally saves a dog. So Mm -hmm. so it connects with the audience. This guy's good. Well, I think the opposite is true. Oh, okay. They really want you to think this guy's despicable. And what do... Honestly, more people right now are upset that he kicked that dog mm-hmm. than he sawed a baby's head off. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the world yeah. we live in. Yeah, well, that wasn't part of the job. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, and I think we can wrap it up here. This was good for, for a, a reaction uh, episode. But, like, I am i don't know about you, but I'm super interested in seeing Damon's... Uh, reaction to what has just happened. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's like, we might be going to war. We're going to war now. Yeah, yeah. Because, again, if they had killed... Mm -hmm. Amond. Amond, I think they would have been mad, but Mm -hmm. not near as mad, Mm -hmm. because, A, that's his brother, not his son. Mm -hmm. Uh, And, B, it was like, well, yeah, he his dragon... Yeah, Yeah, right. But, like, this is like... And this is not going to be a good look for Rhaenyra. Like, this is going to... Oh, no, it makes them look terrible. It makes them look terrible. And there's a lot... there. Like, dude, you might even have, like, the Starks be like, Mm -hmm. we don't want nothing to do with someone who would go kill an innocent child. Like, Mm -hmm. that's not how we roll. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The Tullys are already on the fence. Mm -hmm. Now that this has happened, they may just be like, hey, the devil you know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, he is the king, whether you like it or not. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. It's going to be pretty interesting. You got any parting thoughts on the episode? Um, Parting thoughts. Um, Rhaenyra's aunt. Oh, she's so hot. She's so hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that honestly, main thing. Yeah. She's so hot. She's so hot, and she's the perfect foil for Damon. Yeah, like she like makes that comment about like it'd be a command if you were a king. Yeah, he but, said like, he goes, ain't. "This is a command," and she goes, "Would that you were the king." Yeah, but like she's so like he he basically gets what he wants from everyone, and is such a daunting figure. But like she is just like that classic like you can pull that shit on anybody you want, yeah, but not yeah, me. No, honey. she she is she's a boss. Yes. And I'm sure they're going to kill her because we like her. Oh, uh, but no, that, that, that will be devastating. Well, I mean, dude, you know, here's the deal. Lots of people are about to die uh, oh, yeah. because this was a, I mean, I can't. Well, I learned from Game of Thrones, like, don't just assume anyone. I, I mean, I remember whenever Ned Stark died, I was like, oh. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, man, first season. Yeah. And the thing about this. the thought blood, he was going to carry on throughout the whole show. The thing about the blood and cheese that's different than, like, let's say, hypothetically, the purple wedding when, uh, who's the little shit? Joffrey. And Joffrey. When Joffrey gets killed, obviously it lights a fire mm-hmm. in his mom, but, like, Joffrey was a little piece of shit, mm-hmm. and everyone knew it. This was a baby. So, like. I just feel like it's about to be on some other level. And oh, I'm, yeah. pre- I'm pretty excited for it because, like I said, there were multiple times during this that I was like, oh, right, this is House of the Dragon, not mm-hmm. Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Because, like, tonally, I feel like they finally matched it. You and I, I mean? hate it so bad that it happened to Helena's kids because obviously, like, she is the true innocent of the show. Oh, I know. And that's, but it's like, duh, of course, that's what 
you know, they mm-hmm. would do. Mm-hmm. But anyways, that's our reaction to yes. episode one. Uh, so episode two will probably be a little bit more laid out and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, unless that's when I'm in Disney. Is that when I'm in Disney? It's going to be a wild season, y'all. But we are happy to be back. Mm-hmm. Thank you all. Like, subscribe, download, tell all your yes. friends. Thank you for listening to POA. And you can send me and Lady Kirby airmail, just like you would to the regular POA, mm-hmm. at puttingonairs at gmail.com. And we will read them on the show. Uh, yes. We love y'all. And I love you. I this, love you. It, this was a long time coming. We've I know been excited. it was. I've been excited. All right, Dolores. Say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. I love you.